Good morning, everyone. I'm T.A. Walker from WPTV News Channel 5, Taste and See. And I'm Victoria Lewis. I'm a digital producer here at WPTV. And today we're here to talk about your guys' picks for hidden gems. Yeah, so we uh, have this whole interactive map. And so what you do is you go to WPTV.com. Victoria, if you could turn down the volume on your speaker just a little bit, I'm getting like the feedback. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you click on hidden gems. And right here, there's this really cool interactive map of things that you probably, the locals know about, but you won't find on Yelp or any of the other websites. And you can just zoom in and like, I live in Jupiter, so I can go in here and like, here's one of my favorite places. It's the North Jupiter Flatwoods. It's this really cool hiking trail in the middle of nowhere, but it's right off Indian Town Road. So you wouldn't expect it to be so there if that makes sense is that not showing the yeah map? i'm not seeing it yeah we got to scroll down a little okay yeah, no, oh, we're on the I main page the wrong here page. is it doing it now <laughs> uh, oh, i'm still I seeing see. the main home page huh okay well let me just back out and remove that from the broadcast and we'll try one more time share a screen and we'll so you guys can find this on our homepage. It's got the little label right there, Hidden Gems, where that's where you're going to see the whole map and everything he's talking about, and the 100 picks for Hidden Gems through South Florida and the Treasure Coast. Are you seeing it now? Am there I we go. Okay, now. cool. So <laughs> like I said, it brings up this map, and so I live in Jupiter, so maybe I think I know everything about Jupiter, and then I click on this thing, and it's like, oh, what are this uh, Jupiter? Flatwoods Natural Area, and it'll tell you all the things you need to know about it. Well, so for the last uh, or so, we've asked you to submit your top five or ten hidden gems to get us up to a hundred, and so uh, y'all did. And so we, uh, one of the first things you wanted us to talk about uh, was this. <laughs> And it could be as simple as the uh, typewriter erase, eraser sculpture at the Norton Museum of Art. Uh, I don't remember typewriters having erasers, but apparently that was a thing back in the day. And I know you're too young to even know what a typewriter really is. I can't even imagine what that would look like. Like, I don't, I just figured they had some sort of whiteout or something, or they had to start all over. That was my guess, so. <laughs> well, somebody at Channel 5 ordered all this uh, whiteout the other day, and it's in our supply closet in the newsroom. I'm like, who's using whiteout? Like, what are you using it for? <laughs> Not since college. So, yeah, I don't know on that one. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, another thing that y'all wanted us to talk about was the sunrise views over the intracoastal from the South Cove Natural Area in West Palm Beach. Whoa! I gotta tell you, walking down, have you ever been down that boardwalk, Victoria? I know it's- No, like out. I was, you know, born in South Florida. I lived here most of my life, but I've never seen it and it's gorgeous. It really is. You can go, I think it's like 556 feet long and you go out over the intracoastal and then you're standing on an island that has been completely restored and you see all this wildlife and vegetation and it is just spectacular. If you do it at sunrise, you see the sunrise like we showed you there come up over Palm Beach. And it's just kind of like a very quiet Zen place to be in the morning. And I just thought that was really cool. That's so oh, awesome. Yeah, you always think when you have to go to wetlands, you've got to go all the way out to the Everglades, but there's so many of these little areas much closer. 
yeah, it's right in the city, right in the heart thick of things. Um, the journey through the human brain is in exist at the South Florida Science Center and Aquarium, and we covered it a few years ago. But it's 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 actually uh, Kate is the executive director, and it's really meaningful her meaningful for her, and we'll tell you why. The Science Center unveiled a $2.5 million permanent exhibit called Journey Through the Human Brain. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? WPTV News Channel 5's T.A. Walker explains how one mom's stroke inspired her daughter to bring the brain project to life. The story behind this new exhibit at the South Florida Science Center is special. When we started brainstorming about this exhibit four years ago, it happened to coincide with my mother having a massive stroke. Kate Ariza is the center's CEO, and her mom had what St. Mary's Hospital said was the biggest brain bleed they'd ever seen, and she was given 72 hours to live. And we should bring our families in to say goodbye. In that time, Ariza says she and her sister learned all about the complexities of the brain and how damage could cause personality changes and other complications. Strokes are a huge problem. I mean, and strokes are so common, way more common than people think. Her mom defied the odds. Eight weeks later, my mother went walking out of the ICU at St. Mary's. I just decided I wasn't going anywhere, but came back 100%. I couldn't walk. I couldn't I couldn't do two, two math. I, I couldn't do anything. And by the grace of God, I'm here right now. And with the help of my daughters. Her mom is proud of the work. She has worked so, so hard to get where she is. Journey through the human brain, inspired by her stroke, on display for the first time. Oh, I am giddy. Ariza wants the exhibit to help others live a healthy brain lifestyle, which includes getting enough sleep, eating right, socializing with positive people, and keeping the brain stimulated by doing activities like puzzles. Uh, it's really special considering the experience that we've, we've gone through. In West Palm Beach, T.A. Walker for WPTV News Channel 5. And South Florida's leading science organizations like FAU's Brain Institute, Scripps Research Institute, and Max Planck helped bring this project to fruition. You can get a close-up look at it on WPTV.com slash taste or head there yourself and check it out. TA was just giddy about it. I can said it was awesome. Imagine. Awesome. And you learn something yeah, along the I way it. and helps Love you it. be better too. <laughs> so you're um, just giddy I about it? <laughs> I, I really, it was so interesting and cool. Like you, like you know, when you get a minute and thirty seconds to tell a story, you can't really go in depth with it, right? So you can't like uh, there. There's a part of it where you play uh, audible sounds, and once it gets to a certain threshold, the older you are, the le you can't hear it. So like, there's sounds that oh you gosh. could hear, uh, being like fifteen years, twenty years younger than me, that I couldn't hear. Um, which is interesting. You're like, oh, wow. When I was in high school, we had a ringtone that was popular among everybody because the teachers couldn't hear it. Anybody oh, over really? 25 <laughs> couldn't hear it. Yeah, so like your phone would go off in class and everybody's like, oh, turn off that noise. So annoying. And the teacher has no idea this is going on. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> so we're going That's over hidden cool. gems. There are things around us that you may know about, you may not know about. Uh, that you want to discover. You can find it by going to WPTV.com slash hidden gems. Now, if there's one we should put on the list, please go ahead and let us know about it. Uh, we would love to put it on uh, on our list. Like Angela is saying Jupiter Outdoor Center, Eco Tours, Natural and Wildlife Tours. That's a good one. I didn't know that about that. Cool. So thank yeah, you. Um, yeah. like, where do you guys take your family when they visit? Like, What is the it spot that like maybe everybody doesn't know about, but it's really fun? It doesn't just have to be for family. We've got you know yeah. a couple bars on the list, the Haunted Bar, which I'm excited to check out. And like I said, <laughs> I've lived here most of my life and like I haven't heard of so many of these places. So it's fun to go out and explore. Let me uh, <laughs> share my screen and it's gonna give a feedback loop, but we'll uh, get Ooh. there. Um, I'm trying to find the Sandaway. Oh, here it is. Um, the Sandaway Discovery Center. I've never been here, have you? No. No, it, I guess I've been nowhere. I don't know. <laughs> it offers a, uh, a glimpse into our fragile marine and freshwater environments. And they have shark, alligator, and stingray feedings. I'm not sure I would like to feed a shark, but they also like help turtles out and make sure everything's cool. It's sure, that one was of the, not my hand. <laughs> right. Uh, it's in Delray Beach, and it's just one of those things that's around us that's really, really wicked cool. Uh, and that's the so simple, great for kids too to like learn more about like our environment. You know, that's something that's definitely going to become a bigger deal as they grow up, and for them to be able to have that hands-on experience, that's so great. For sure. And then there's Seminole Inn, and this is an Indian town, and it's an inn that's been around for a long time. 
and they say you'll go back to old Florida and you can see what Florida is really like. It's kind of a, a, a like they say you can capture a glimpse of the old South, and they even produced um, this, this uh, YouTube video uh, there about it where you can go see the the inn and everything. Well, I'm not seeing it yet, but there we go. Uh, and you can just see what it's all about, and it's really fun to explore. And if you want to like a cool uh, staycation, this is definitely a destination you could go to. Um, Loggerhead Marine Life Center. I can't say enough about Loggerhead. They're going under a multi-million dollar uh, expansion right now. Uh, my old roommate, Rachel and Cody, roommates, Rachel and Cody, they're going to have the first wedding there. They have this new uh, rooftop area that's covered that you can get 180 degree views of the ocean. But more importantly, uh, they have, they'll have they have a new um, turtle hospital, uh, tanks for the turtles. They'll have a shark and stingray exhibit. They will have a coral reef exhibit. So you can see what how coral reef works and how uh, it's going to be. And I really love this for our kids, uh, or for your kids, I have no kids. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, the school buses can pull up to the side and go up into this theater that can seat around 100. And so they can do more educational things. Um, they've also worked with the Atlantic Aquarium to come up with a, uh, a filter for the seawater in case um, red tide, blue green algae, other contaminants come into the water because they feed, you know, they pull live, you know, water right from the ocean for those for the tanks for the turtles. If something that happens, they, they, they now will have a filter to protect the turtles that are in their care. So um, it's a, it's there in Juneau Beach. If you've never been, it's one of the most exciting um, and uh, progressive hospitals for turtles in the world. Uh, there's only about nine of them in the world and the doctors there, um, they are really ingenious and they come up with procedures uh, for turtles to uh, that other uh, hospitals end up adopting and they publish them in you know, uh, different works. Yeah, I remember you doing a story on that recently, and you know, especially so many local species are endangered, and you know, what injuries or illnesses they have, they don't want to give up on them because it's so important to have every turtle be able to hopefully breathe, and they're able to do that. And especially hosting weddings, that's going to be a great way to pay for that. As someone who's like wedding right now, you can charge a bit. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Jamie says MacArthur Park should be on the list. You're not wrong. We need to get that yeah. on. Uh, Jamie says adventure mini golf in Lake Worth. I've never heard of that. So cool. Cute. I haven't, but I'm always down for mini golf. I, I am as long as there's a beer. Um, if, if, and it, as long as we're not playing like, and people care about points, like I, I cause I'm oh, not going yeah, to yeah, you can't, Not competitively, always for fun. <laughs> uh, Chrissy says Panther Ridge conservation. That's good. Uh, the girls, that's actually uh, on our list. So, yeah. yes, the girls is there. I'm waiting for them to uh, get strawberries again, grow strawberries. Uh, they didn't do it this year because of the pandemic. And once they do the strawberries, I want to go back there and do a story for our list. But, yeah, uh, a lot of people said the girls. Uh, that's, that's a good that's a good, uh, good one to put on our list. Okihili Park is on the list. You know, shark... Uh, Wake Park is there and the inflatable obstacle course. And there's a dog park. Oh, there's, right. That's so fun. The, the, the golf where you throw the disc. Disc golf. I actually disc play golf. that quite a bit. It's really fun. <laughs> that's there. There's a golf course that's open to the public. There's the north side. There's the south side. And it's there's water skiing. There, It is such a great park. It's right in the center of Palm Beach County. So that's, that's a great one, too. And let me play this real quick. If you've ever been strolling along the posh Worth Avenue in Palm Beach, you may have passed up courtyards filled with shops, restaurants, and galleries. There is one courtyard behind the Lily Pulitzer store that has plenty of sculptures that will help you up your social media game. In this peaceful garden, two pieces of art are objects of unusual size created by the artist Robert St. Croix. The apple and banana are illuminated at night. Other artists have work displayed too, like kids playing on a swing, kids riding a bike, pulling a girl on roller skates, climbing up a ladder, or simply just trying to stay out of the rain. Behind a locked gate, you can see these kids running and playing baseball. You could take a picture of a pig to make your friends squeal with laughter, or check out this dolphin swimming along with the human. 
that was one came from our resident artist and anchor uh ashley walters Walter. yeah she loves things of unusual size that makes sense <laughs> that, that is her thing right so on her desk she has a little shopping cart she has little tiny hands she has a giant slinky she has uh a big clothes pen um and she was telling me about this the, this this courtyard. And so I'm walking down Worth Avenue and I'm not a Palm Beach guy. That's not my jam. I'm more of a jupes guy, flip flops, t-shirt, ball cap, you know, right. Jukes is shorts. Okay. right. <laughs> yeah. Like it, I'm not like fancy, but I really got a kick out of finding all these courtyards along Worth Avenue. Cause I didn't realize they were everywhere, but they are, they're like everywhere. Oh, okay. Cause and I've been shopping there. I guess like I'm always just mission mode. I never look around cause I've never noticed it. But if you go into these courtyards, there's all these restaurants and shops and all this fun stuff to see, fountains and whatever. All the courtyards are interesting, but that one particularly uh, particular is very interesting. Uh, Tori Dunnan was telling me that her kids love one because they, they make up stories about the sculptures. Maybe they just left the apple here. You know, so I thought that <laughs> one was really cool because it gets the kids, you know, um, my imagination going that's so fun exactly uh the so grassy waters <laughs> say that again a little less netflix a little more their own imagination exactly um the grassy water spur this one's really quick cool it's a uh, 23 square miles of uh ecosystem and it uh really is neat because it has like all these boardwalks and um you really can get up close with what Florida really looks like. Um, I just think it's really neat. It's the, and then you see like all the wildlife, like um, heron and deer and otter and bobcat and of course alligators. And uh, let's see if we can find that boardwalk. That wouldn't I be show. Florida without a couple alligators. A couple. <laughs> <laughs> I like to pretend there's just a couple. I don't need to know. How many are under the surface? I know all the things. <laughs> yeah, so, but you know, certain kind of areas in South Florida. Because you know, I grew up here, but I lived in Texas for a little bit, and they paved over a lot of that. You really have to travel far out of the cities to get any of that, and That's that true. also creates flooding issues. But you know, it's nice to be able to take your kids, not have to drive for hours, and you know, get to go see the real Florida. Uh, this one we got so many submissions on. Um, mm -hmm. Let me. Uh, to the Put it up. If there was like an online campaign, but not from what we can <laughs> tell, everyone just really loves Think Greek. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Greek food with American twist. Uh, it was established in 2014. They started it off as a food truck and now they're located in Port St. Lucie. Uh, they won uh, Yelp's best bite on the beach at Food Network South Beach Food and Wine Festival in 2020. Uh, it's the only thing good come out of that year. Uh, they have like all these Greek foods and they just look fantastic. And like we were saying, um, yeah, they had a, like a campaign to get themselves on the list. And so they deserve it. And the last one is Food Shack. And I can't believe I didn't think of this because it is a hidden gem here in Jupiter where I live. They just have the best food. It comes straight from the sea. And it's funny when I sent this out yesterday that it was on the list, I got so many emails from our staff like, well, yeah, it should be on the list. How did we not have this on the list? I'm like, you're we right. You guys for ideas. It's not on the <laughs> list. I mean, come on. <laughs> well, it, 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 like it's in a strip mall. So you don't expect to find a really high end, nice restaurant in a strip mall. But they have so many benches outside that are always full with people waiting to get in to go into food shack. So that's how you know it's good, right? So uh, at least that's what Craig from our assignment desk told us yesterday, and I agree. Uh, <laughs> Jamie says for golfers, John Prince Park Golf Center, driving range and three hole par, three practice holes, unlimited pl uh, play for $20. That's and amazing. Then, we definitely have a lot of golfers. Jennifer says Dune Deck is a great place to, yeah, it is absolutely to bring is that like people. A restaurant or? It is. So uh, each month we're going to add five um, more hidden gems to the list. And if you want to um, add yours, uh, just go to wptv.com slash hidden gems. There's a form right there and they all go straight to my email. So I'll get them and then I'll start doing stories on them. And uh, we're. I love his email. He loves that. <laughs> I, I, 
favorite thing. Uh, especially <laughs> if it's email that doesn't mean that that's even better. <laughs> so you but yeah, this list is so great. You know, I've got family coming in town uh, in a couple weekends for my daughter's birthday. I've made some notes on places to go that we haven't gotten to go before. And a lot of us are from here originally. And we're just like, wow, OK, I never knew this was, you know, just up the street around the corner. So it's fun to kind of get to explore your own community. It is like I'm dating somebody in Royal Palm Beach. So I just kind of went over there because I don't know Royal Palm that well. And it like looked poked around just to see what we could do out there. So that's kind of a th fun thing to do. And then Hidden Gems will air Saturday mornings at 7.15, uh, if you care to be up that early. And then uh, if you don't Probably care to be up that early. Be up that early. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you don't want to be up early, apparently now it's going to run at 7.15 p.m. on Monday on our new 7 o'clock show. So uh, 7 a.m. on Saturday and 7 p.m. on uh, Monday. So there you go. Well, uh, Victoria, thanks for hanging out this morning. Yeah, of course. And uh, have fun exploring, everybody. Take care.